Hey everybody, my name's John and welcome to my channel. I'm on a camping trip and I want to take you through the contents of this pack. Stay with me, we'll get started. I just got here and I haven't unloaded it with the exception to my gloves. I always take a pair of leather gloves with me and I kind of keep them where I can get to them pretty easy. Now when I weighed this pack up last night, it was like a little over 38 pounds. Now this is my bushcraft kit. I've got two packs that I carry. One I call my lightweight kit, and this is my heavier kit, my bushcraft kit. But I just want to kind of take you through it, and I'll just kind of start on the outside. I guess first of all, this is an Osprey pack. It's got a great harness system on it. The shoulder strap and the, and the hip belt are real comfortable. Uh, I don't think you could get any better than this as far as the shoulder strap and the comfort level of it. Now it's a heavier pack. If you're a lightweight uh, backpacker or an ultralight backpacker, this pack's not for you. It's got this stretchy pouch on the front. Now, I'll show you what's in it. I keep my insect repellent in there. And that's my pack cover. And this is just my rain gear. I just stuff it down in there. I've got two side pouches. Now, normally here I keep my tripod that my camera's on. Of course, you don't see it, but I also keep this uh, it's a platypus water bottle and I can get to it when the pack's on me. I can just reach around there and grab this and drink from it. So I usually keep this and it fits real good right in this side pouch. And then this other side has got a zipper pouch. I just keep my camera kit in here. It's some extra batteries and things like that that I need to shoot this video. If you notice, I've got this uh, tied to a tree with a carabiner and some paracord. And I keep this type of gear that I want to get to real quick in this side pouch. Because this is the first thing I normally do when I get to my campsite. I'll tie my pack to a tree. And I want to get to it real quick and I just keep some little extra paracord and things like that in this pouch along with my camera case. And that's all that goes in there. This pack came with a lid on it, but I don't, I don't like the lid. I took it off. I like just a bucket style pack where you just put things straight down into it. Now this pack has got a bottom zipper pouch on it. It's, it's made for a sleeping bag and it's got a little divider in here, but I just, I just untie that so I can just go straight down through it. Sometimes I carry an ax, it's just a hunter's ax. It's, it's about 19, 20 inches long when I'm bushcrafting. And I can put that ax on this loop. I can just put it the head through it and I can loop it around. And it's got another one down here on the bottom, this one right here, that you can put the handle through. And it works pretty good. I usually like to keep my tarp on top. Got my food bag. Next, I have the heavy stuff. This is a pouch I made, and I keep my canteen full of water in here. I'll just kind of show you what's in it. I've got my canteen. And then, of course, I got the cup and the stove for it. And then I've got a mug. And there's an alcohol stove in here and some fuel. And then I've got my spork. I've got this fire kit. Now I don't, I don't pack in with my fire kit and my belt knife. That's my folding saw. My belt knife's in here. I keep that. Now that's, I'm carrying a Mora Bushcraft Black today. I've got like three different belt knives that I carry from time to time. And I just recently made this sheath for it and I just wanted to try it out and see how it's working. And this has just got my tent, my tarp stakes and some cordage in it that I use to tie off my tarp with. I keep a roll of bank line Here's my pouch that has got my bush pot in it. I always take this bush pot when I'm bushcrafting because I normally I'm, I'm creating fires and I'm boiling my water instead of running it through a water filter. And I usually keep some dry tinder in there so I can start my fires with. This is coffee and this is milk. And then I keep my bush pot in here. I've got some cornbread mix. And this is like a two quart bush pot and I use it to boil my water and I use it for an oven and just to do some cooking things in. Now the rest of my gear is stuff that I don't want to get wet. 
I buy one of these trash compactor bags. You can get these at Walmart. You can get a whole pack of them. This is just my toiletry kit. What I have here is some reading material. I carry a headlamp and some extra batteries. And then I've got this cat hole trowel that I use to dig my holes with. Here's my hammock. It's a Warbonnet XLC Blackbird. This is my under quilt. This is the torso length quilt. And my sleeping bag. This is a Z-Pax uh, 40 degree sleeping bag. And it's real lightweight. And I use it in my lightweight kit. Now my, all my sleep system, I use in my lightweight kit as well as my bushcrafting kit. But I think that's it. Let's see now, I think I do have, oh yeah, my socks. I always carry an extra pair of socks. I almost forgot one last thing. This pack has a pouch that you carry a water bladder in. And I never carry the water bladder because I like to see how much water I have. I do carry some items in this pouch. One of my favorite items is this Thermarest seat pad that I always carry. It's got multiple uses. I've got a ground tarp. This is a Z-Pax footprint for one of their tents. It's, it's ultra lightweight. I've got this life straw that I take and this haversack. That's it. That's all I have for you in this pack. Hey, I appreciate you watching my videos. I really do. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me. Thank you for watching.